Now, I don't want this video to sound like a complete bandwagon video, but I really have to actually make this come across because it's been on my mind. It's been troubling me, and a lot of the influence or from the people that I've actually witnessed talking about this sort of thing has really gotten me a bit disturbed and confused about it. Now, before I actually get on to this subject, I want to say that you, if you are a person who believes that you are so superior to those who are depressed when they actually, I don't know, do drugs uh, be, or apart from that matter, from any influential, negative influential uh, instances from parental abuse, negligence, or peer pressure from other people, breakups, anything, etc. If you believe that you are superior to these people that are going through a depression or anything that's close to suicide, then I do recommend that you unsubscribe from my channel and never come back to my channel ever again because I want nothing to do with you. That being said, this is where I need to go on. It has now come to my attention that a new type of subject or type of controversy has been showing up. Not only on to other websites, but also my Facebook as well, also on YouTube, also to other people uh, posting it wherever, you know, such as Twitter, Tumblr, I don't really use those sites much often. But as it comes to this notion here, that there is talk about Gene Simmons. Gene Simmons who... Obviously, a lot of people around this world should know one of the biggest icons in rock and roll history, uh, controversial enough to, well, I think, what was it called? Matt Mock, the Mothers Against the Music of Kiss, they were against them at that, that time, so he was basically this Hellraiser uh, demon figure to them. But anyways, apart from that fact, that he was actually a, one of the biggest icons in the rock and roll in history, you know, in the entire world. Apart from it being a part of Kiss, one of the biggest, greatest rock bands that ever ever to be uh, presented to the whole world from that time into present day, 2014. Until such uh, notions that were made by Gene Simmons, uh, when I actually went onto this website, which was posted on my Facebook, just to my first initial reaction, I at first didn't believe it. I at first just looked at it as like, okay, this has to be fake. Because if there's one thing that I have learned from the last time when I made a video, which was regarding... Uh, I can't exactly remember the name. It was during the. It was when I was making a video on politics. Uh, was it Rick Rick Santorum or whatever his name was declaring war on uh, heavy metal, which was completely satirical and it was completely fake. So, so an example of that gave me this sort of um, this lesson to learn. So I've been thinking in my mind, okay, this has to be fake, and uh, and, and I learned from the, I learned from a certain line from a band called Stuff Little Fingers, and that certain quote says, "Don't be bitten twice." So when I look at this, I figured to myself, okay, I don't want to be bitten twice about this sort of thing, so it has to kind of be fake. But the thing about it is, the facts are that I didn't want to jump to any factual conclusions about it until I read it, until I see how most people reacted to it. So by looking at the side, I read what it meant by what Gene Simmons had to say about people who were going through depression, saying that how his grandmother was going you know, through the nightmarish as hells, you know, of a, was a concentration camp or an intern camp, uh, com then all of a sudden making these disturbing remarks about people going through depression, you know, and just, wow, I have to say that this is just remarkably dark, disappointing, and just outright to the point where it makes me angry. I'm not, ex I'm not venting my anger out because I'm still tired of shit, I just woke up. But this, to me, is an insult. Not only to myself, not only to people who suffer through this. And I have to agree with Undertaker Freak. And I'm not trying to, uh, and I'm in no way trying to copy what Undertaker Freak is saying. But he is, Undertaker Freak is right. Gene Simmons has just condescended onto those who actually feel helpless, who actually feel like they are victims to, to things. Just like when it comes to parental abuse, negligence, peer pressure, etc. Just like drug abuse, which is also like a key use when it comes to those sort of things. But you you can't really deduce it any more than that. The worst part about this whole entire situation is how people, the the different sides from people who are actually feeling depressed, down, vic, you know, victimized. Opposite from that, the worst part is the people who still follow. And I'm not saying, if you're a fan of Gene Simmons, that's fine. I'm, I'm not saying this. I'm not trying to confuse the crap out of you. I'm not trying to put words in anyone's mouth or just trying to manipulate anyone. That has never been my case here. That's never me. I'm just saying for those who think it's just a fucking popularity contest for anyone who speaks out their mind when it comes to a certain issue about this. So if someone calls Gene Simmons out on some sort of bullshit when it comes to this crap, like Undertaker Freak did, 
a certain individual, who I'm not going to name, but like others like him, are going to say, oh, but Gene Simmons is still more popular than you, so if you have a fucking problem with it, you know, go, you know down, pirate his fucking, you know, kiss bio thing for free. Who the fuck says that? I mean, seriously. Really? Just to me, that just feels like you're just being, the p p person right there is just being blindly shepherd by someone with such high influence and because, you know, he's, he's a powerful person. He's got, he's got money. He's got high influence because of his, you know, his status as a musician. He's done business almost worldwide with every, with every single kind of company, business opportunity, anything else like this. But when, for him to give advice to people who are going down to depression, to me, in my own opinion, I don't think he has any right to be condescending to people like that. Now, I'm, just, I'm not saying that he has he doesn't have the right to his own opinion. I just think it's shitty, though, and it's kind of contradicted to what I just said, but I don't give a shit. What I'm just saying is I don't think it's fair for him to be condescending to those or being, though, that comparing any issue he has to other people suffering from depression, but in this sense, compare, making a comparison or contrast uh, viewpoint from depression and then having his what was it, his grandmother in an intern camp which I understand that's it's it's horrific that people had to go through that stuff back then but with depression that happens everywhere it's worldwide there is no stopping it but it's shitheads who actually cite this influence thinking that they are so superior and above those because they feel as though it's something that you can just get over with when in fact it's not. I don't know if I said this before in any of my videos, so I'm just going to try to see if I can just make it clear now. I had a family member of mine, or he's actually cl very close as a very fr uh, family member of ours, who is also best friends with my dad. As it turns out that this family member, who I've also considered uh, an, an uncle figure, um, as it turns out, he was suffering from depression, and I was not aware of this at this time. I was actually... I don't know if I was off work or at work at that time, which most likely was probably at work. I come, I come back to the house. My mom wanted to talk to me real quick while my dad was in the room. And she informed me that my uncle, or, you know, the close family figure to us, my best friend, ended up committing suicide. He was so depressed, he ended up taking his own life. So I want to make it very clear about that, because when he committed suicide, the reasoning behind that is because no one else would reach out for him. No one else would help him. So is it fair for someone that I loved before suffering from depression that ended up killing themselves? You think that's something that can just be getting rid that it's just is it easily to get rid of? You think it's fair for me to just get rid of depression when shit like that happens? When I feel lonely? Or when someone else feels that sort of way? Because there's, like many others before, this right here is like standards who I've mentioned about a certain YouTuber. Oh, I don't know. It, it, l let me just, uh, just try to re rethink this. Onision! Yes, oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen, Gene Simmons has become fucking Onision. I made that fucking comparison right then and there. But off that track, for just one minute though, it is not fair for me, it is not fair for people suffering from depression, it wasn't fair for my fucking uncle to just... It wasn't fair to him. I got angry, I got sad when I realized the news. You think it's something that just gets rid of that easily? No, it isn't, mister. Ain't that fucking easy. Especially when there's some of my very good friends in my family who I'm never going to fucking see again. Because guess what? They're not here anymore. Not that I'm saying that they took their lives as well. Because actually, some of them passed away from natural causes. And the other ones either died from getting hit by a drunk driver. Or they actually suffered some, from some heart disease. And actually, there was a little child who was actually a friend of our family's. Who ended up getting hit by a fucking truck. And that family was so down and depressed. You think it's fair for them? So Gene Simmons, if you're ever fucking watching this, which I highly doubt you fucking are, you need to reevaluate those fucking views quick. Because I don't know what is going to happen, and I don't fucking care if you have this entire fan base. I still respect you as a basis in the, mu in the music band of KISS, but I do not respect you as a person to be giving out this sort of advice to people or saying this type of shit, condescending to those who need help. It's not fair to them, it's not fair to me, it's not fair to the ones that I love, and it certainly wouldn't be fair to, to you as well. And it wouldn't be fair to those you love as well, or anyone close to you. Wouldn't be fair at all.
That's all the time I have. Have a good fucking day.